Hello, my name is Dusty Tittle, chair of the inaugural District 9 4-H Barbecue Cook-Off. It will be held um, at the same time as our district roundup, big time in D9. D9 at the Lone Star Convention Center in Conroe, May 4th and 5th. Uh, teams will consist of at least three individuals and can go up to ten. The different age di divisions will be junior and intermediate combined, which means youth ages eight and in the third grade through 13 years of age as of August 31, 2011. And then the senior division, youth ages 14 through 18 as of August 31, 2011, and then open. The open division is for adults or an adult youth combination. So we have three divisions, our junior intermediate, our senior division, and our open. Our kids can move up to an older team, so we could have some 9 and 10 year olds competing in the senior division if just one of those team members is 14 years old or older. So the three age divisions. Categories. We will cook brisket, pork ribs, half a chicken, and then pinto beans. So there's four divisions that a team can participate in and um, from that standpoint the team must provide all of their own meat. So uh, a, a barbecue team must provide all of their own meat. Uh, meat will be inspected either Friday night or first thing on Saturday morning. The inspection merely uh, checks to verify that the uh, meat was not uh, marinated or pre-seasoned or pre-cooked or anything. Everyone starts off with a raw product. Any teams choosing to participate in the bean aspect of it, um, those beans will be provided uh, Saturday morning or uh, so they're provided. The meat the team brings, the beans are provided for the team. Our general rules go over once again no pre-season, pre-cooking or marinating allowed before the inspection. All meat entries must pass one or two of the available inspections. Uh, only one container of each category entered will be judged per team. Barbecue will be judged on aroma, color, texture, and the all-important taste. Contestants must supply all needed equipment and supplies. Fires for contest meat must be of wood or wood substances such as charcoal. Each team will be responsible for cleanup of your assigned space. The contest committee reserves the right to make additional changes as situations warrant. Decisions of the committee and the judges will be final. No pets or animals will be allowed in the area under any circumstances. Um, electricity will be provided on a very limited basis. If you need electricity, you probably need to uh, consider bringing a generator. Um, each team will be allocated a, the, the equivalent of two parking spaces in a parking lot. Um, uh, there will be a chief cook meeting on Friday, May the 4th at 8 p.m. where we go over a lot of the rules. Um, uh, team packets and beans will be uh, available at check-in. Um, the chief cook is responsible uh, for the conduct of themselves and their teams or any guests they may have. Um, uh, youth rules, uh, the, junior, the, inter the junior, intermediate, and the senior. A team, like I stated earlier, a team will consist of three members, three or more, up to about ten. Younger youth may compete in an older age division. And uh, when it comes to judging on uh, the junior, intermediate, and the senior, not the open, uh, but 70% of the score, the judging, will be uh, uh, the aroma, color, texture, and taste, with the uh, remaining 30% coming from an interview whereby uh, the team, not the team captain or the chief cook or one person, but the team will be asked questions about food safety and the nutritional value of their entry. So 30% of their overall score will come from interview questions. Uh, the entry costs $20 per category. We had the four categories. So if a team decided to enter all four categories, that would be a total of $80 that would be paid uh, to get that done. Awards. There are no cash awards, but we are giving awards first through fifth place in the brisket, the pork, uh, the chicken, and the, and, and the beans, and, and all the age divisions. And then we will also do first through third place for a best barbecue team display in each age division. Uh, the general schedule on Friday, May the 4th, teams can arrive from nine, uh, essentially nine, excuse me, 
noon until about 9 p.m. on Friday. They can check in and set up. The first meat inspection will take place at 7 p.m. on Friday the 4th, and the chief cook meeting will be at 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. on Friday the 4th. Then on Saturday, May the 5th, uh, check-in is from 7 a.m. till 10 a.m., so a few hours that morning. You don't have to come on Friday night if you don't choose. So check-in from 7 to 10 a.m. on Saturday morning. 8 a.m. is the final meat inspection if you didn't get it done the night before. You only have to be inspected once. Uh, judging will begin at 2 o'clock. Uh, at the team meeting, we will hand out the order uh, that your entries will be judged, but the judging will begin at 2 o'clock with designated times to follow based on the categories, and the awards presentation will begin at 6 p.m. Uh, we look forward to having everybody show up. This, this uh, inaugural event is intended to be fun for the kids first and foremost and provide some pretty nutritious meal for all of our other uh, weekend event goers. So uh, look forward to seeing you there. If you have any questions, be sure and contact your county extension agent.